means that they don't care about the information that's on there, if it relates to sensors that they don't have. Um, but we've made it a lot more convenient in the 3.1 firmware to do this without a computer. So, again, this will be in the preferences setup menu, and we showed how to customize these custom views. Uh, that's the averaging, the data rate, and then this has changed. Here's where you choose the stop screen. So that's the cycle analysis display screens that show up while your bike is not moving. And similarly, you can control the screens that show up while you are moving. So you could have it so that when you're biking, only two or three screens are possible to toggle through. And then once you stop, you can see some of the more advanced statistics. So this looks like it did in the 3.0 firmware. Um, except when you go in to edit the screens, you now have an actual readout of what the information is. So number one is the main screen, number two is just the electrical information without your speed and your distance. That's not usually too important to me because I have the information I want on the main one. Uh, number three would be human power. Now if you don't actually have a torque sensor, this screen's not all that interesting either for most people. So we could hide that. Um, this is your energy mileage, your watt hours, watt hours per kilometer. I find that's always the most useful screen to have present. This is human statistics. Again, as for a bike without a torque sensor, the average cadence, average human power, peak human power, none of that's all that interesting, so you would hide it. Um, regen, so if you have a bike with a geared hub motor or if you have a controller that doesn't do regenerative braking, there's no point having a regen screen, so we could hide that. Um, peaks is of course the peak current, the minimum voltage sag. Um, that's not always all that interesting. It's the peak current is going to be the limit, current limit of the motor controller. Um, so I find that's not usually worth taking up real estate for. Uh, speed statistics I always like to have, so your average and maximum speed information. And the temperature stats when you have a motor with a temperature sensor, that's nice to see. If you don't have a temperature sensor, there's no point at all having that screen visible. Um, the odometer is, of course, the lifetime statistics. Often you don't really care to see this when you're moving, but when the bike is stopped, it's nice to have an odometer readout. Um, the battery statistics, same kind of deal. It's not necessarily that fun or interesting to scroll through that while you're on the bike, so you might have that only show up on the stop screens, but have it hidden from the moving display screens. Um, and then diagnostic screen, that's the throttle input, throttle output voltage. That's very interesting while you're riding, but when the bike is stopped, it's often not that relevant to see. So I might hide this from the stop display screen. So now this here shows which screens I have. I've enabled the first screen, the fourth screen, the eighth, uh, tenth, and eleventh. And now if we exit the setup menu, you'll see there's now way fewer screens to toggle through. So I don't have the you know, motor temperature information, I don't have the human statistics, the human watts, uh, just the ones I've selected there.